around there's a new smartphone on the market how do you keep up with all this new technology well we rely on our gadget wizard john hanlon to keep up for us and he's here now to tell us about uh, a new phone from verizon the droid max good to see you again john hey, great to be here gordy so you've got the droid max I right do, here right okay here. all right tell us uh, give us the overview of this this is brand new on the market it is it's just a couple weeks old uh, -huh. uh really thin yeah it, it is thin it has a pretty cool uh it has a few pretty cool features okay. um, the battery life is actually about Verizon says it lasts about 48 hours, which usually when carriers and manufacturers say stuff like that, it isn't actually true in real life. It's not really that long. What's the typical battery life right now if you're average smartphone. It, it depends on how heavily you use it. I mean, if you're watching videos all day or for several hours, it's going to last a lot shorter, but usually you can get through about a day, so it's usually yeah. around 12 hours, I'd okay. say. But, but they're saying 48, 48 hours. hours, which actually I found to be true. Okay. Uh, they, they have... Uh, Thanks to Verizon for sending me the, the, the Droid Max here, mm -hmm. and I have, in the few days I've tried it, I actually went 48 hours without charging it, and it lasted that entire time, okay. which, what else? which is pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. So, uh, another pretty cool feature about this phone, if you take it out of your pocket or if you just pick it up off the table, mm -hmm. it will, nor we'll normally it. it does. Yeah. It starts up by itself. Yeah, it, it, it shows a notification screen. Let's see All right, if I well, get it to do it. <laughs> well, it, when, sure we, it when we did yeah. this 30 seconds before we started, it did it. But yeah. it, it shows a really cool notification screen. Uh, it works every time when you pull it out of your pocket. Okay. Uh, and and that you can go from there and see what texts or emails you have. It also displays the time. Okay. Now, uh, what other new feature? I understand you can just talk to it and it'll start responding. You, you can. Right? So for a while now, different smartphones ha have voice commands. Sure. You can say it texts Gordy and it will... It will text mm -hmm. you with something mm -hmm. or ask it a question. Mm -hmm. Well, this phone has what's called touchless voice commands. So okay. without even pushing a button, I can speak to it and it will do a variety of commands. So okay. if I say, Why don't you ask I will go ahead and demonstrate. Something. Hopefully this works better than the other features. Okay, uh, okay Google Now. So there it popped up uh, with oh. a good afternoon, John. Right. And I'm messing it up right now because it's, it's recording what I'm saying as a command. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what it's gonna give me, but if I try it again, uh -huh. Let's try right. Okay, Google Now. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? Mm. And it's thinking. And it also only recognizes my voice. Okay. So let's see what it. So search. Eiffel Tower is one thousand sixty-three feet tall. So there you go. Okay. And I did that complete with without touching any buttons. All right. And, and this line of phone is the, the first to be able to do that. Ask it how tall the uh, the, the Statue of Liberty is. Okay. Let's throw a curveball. Start. It. Okay. Okay, Google now. How tall is the Statue of Liberty? Thank you. So it has certain commands yeah. that it will read back to you, but it won't read back just anything you ask it. But let's see, it should be able to get this. Statue of Liberty is 305 feet tall. Okay. 305 right. feet tall, there you go. Okay. So, and, and again, it has a variety of commands, texting, mm -hmm. email, and that type of stuff, and it's completely without touching it. So mm -hmm. if this was across the room, and you wanted to know something, you can just say, okay, Google now, and mm -hmm. it will record your voice. And, and it's uh, sensitive to your voice only? I mean, did you have to train it, uh, or did you have to do some commands to get used to your voice? Exactly. You just It, it has a, a few steps. It's nothing in-depth, but mm -hmm. just... 30 seconds it takes and it, and it learns your voice and it actually is really good about not picking up other voices. It will only pick up your voice, especially when you say, okay, Google now, since it, the phone is basically, and they're just, it just picked up my voice when I said that. <laughs> okay. Since the phone is basically listening to you all the time, uh -huh. then you wouldn't want that happening for every person who says it. Okay. Uh, now it also char it, it has a wireless charger? It does. It has a wireless charging, which, which isn't necessarily a, a new innovative idea. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's the screen that, that I was trying to get to pop up earlier. Okay. The, the notification one. I'm going to pick that up. Hold it. Did it do it this time? Now is it going to no, pop it's 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 okay. Okay. Normally it works every time. Keep trying to get a picture. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so, yes, it has wireless charging. Uh, so right. you can you set it on a, a mat and it will charge without plugging it in. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty uh, cool. And what's the price tag on something like this? Approximately. Yeah, it's about $200. Okay. So that's, all right. the, that's the, in line with... The smartphones are all pretty yeah. similarly priced. Mm -hmm. The new iPhone that just came out a couple days ago right. uh, is also two hundred dollars. The Apple just announced that they have a, a new cheaper version that's a hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but their main iPhone 5s, which is the new iPhone, is still two hundred dollars, and that's about the price range that and is, the most is of the new are. iPhone a big upgrade on the, the last one, or is it just that it comes in different colors now? Right, that's it comes in different colors. It's a little bit, a little bit faster processor, okay. uh, but nothing really big. The, probably the number one new feature is it has a fingerprint reader on the front. Oh, okay. So in the the, the center button uh -huh. now can 
read your fingerprint to unlock it and to sign into email and that type of thing. So that's but good for security. It is good for security, kind of a, a cool nifty feature, something something cool to have. But overall, not really big upgrades. I think okay. a lot of people were, a lot of iPhone fans might have been disappointed uh, that the, the 5S, the new iPhone, didn't sure. have a lot of the the, the stuff that people are expecting. Well, John, we're out of time for this time around, but uh, let me know when you find a phone that has a microwave oven. Uh, okay. That it can just make food. Pop food. out? Yeah, yeah, like a, even a piece of toast. Okay. Something. okay. I'll, I'll make sure to let you know about <laughs> that. Keep me posted. Uh, thanks again, John okay. Hanlon. And where, uh, people can, uh, where can people get a hold of you? jhanlon.net is okay. my Facebook page, and I've actually got a written review of this phone up, too, with a little bit more information. Very good. We'll have more information on our Facebook page, too. Thanks again, John. We'll be right back.